All right, guys, we're going to try out these bait bags today. These are the Rat Fishing System Mossy Head Bait Company. Uh, basically, what they are are little mesh bags. I'm going to try putting the uh, chicken catfish bait into it, little bitty bags. The deal is they're designed to help hold your bait on the hook. Anytime you use any of these soft baits, chicken liver, chicken breast, even some of the pack baits, this stuff will come off. You have to lose them. So I'm going to try using this stuff today, see how it performs. I went with the bigger ones. This is a this is the three inch by one and a quarter inch t1 mesh so like i said different sizes i'll put you a link down in the description to the website you can check out put this into the bag little piece of chicken there we go drop it in there shoo, shoo, shoo. yeah chicken is notorious for pulling off there it is all sealed up in there ready to go all you're gonna do is run your hook basically through your bag what i would suggest doing is twisting it putting it back through there tough it's good to go so we're gonna chunk it out here and see one if it holds it on which i think it will the other thing is we're gonna see if it affects the catfish bite now white rods big cat fever medium light trolling rods are all gonna have chicken i'm gonna put out some uh cut bait over here on these hellcat rods we're gonna see how this stuff works all right guys the one i am not gonna put out with a bag it's gonna be the red reel the red ancient mariner I'm just putting straight chicken on the it, just a regular piece of chicken, no bag to keep hold of it. So we'll see if that makes any difference in either the bite or keeping the bait on. Well, I finally got all the baits in the water. I had a uh, half chicken out with two of them in bags and I had perch out on the green rods. Uh, the fishing had been bad. It had been really slow. Uh, the past several days. Probably wasn't the best day to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but it was a day I had off from guide trips, so I decided to do it. The first drift did not produce anything, but it did give me a chance to check out the baits and see how they were holding up. All right, guys, so as I was sitting there on the boat, I was thinking, can these things be reused? It'd be kind of a waste to use them one time and not get any more use out of them. So what I'm going to do is try to get the hook back out of these. Having a barb on the hook is gonna make that tough. See one thing, the hook does not come out easily. Nope, I don't think you're gonna get to use these things twice. Well, the first try at recycling one of the bags was a disaster. And I think some of it has to do with the way I double hooked it. Uh, when I put that thing on, I was planning on not taking it back off. I think with a barbed hook, you can get by with going through both sides of the bag and it'll give you a little more opportunity to pull that hook out without tearing the bag apart. All right, guys, I'm gonna try one more of these, see if I can get this off of here, if it comes off any easier. I got a feeling these may be a one and done kind of thing. Maybe if you hooked them differently, I don't know. You might be able to finagle it, but man, you'd have to work at it to get it open. I guess I could reuse that one. Last one came apart pretty good. This one might be reusable. Finally, on this next drift, I got a bite and was able to put a fish in the boat. Guys, I don't know if it's just by luck or chance, there's a fish on this rod already. I just got all my stuff out. Yep, there is a fish. It's gonna go through a bunch of lines. That's the only bad thing here. This is one without the bag on it. I just got these out and I thought I seen it move. Probably should have set the hook on him. Maybe if he stays on the top, I can keep him out of these other lines. We will see. Here's like a half decent fish. Yeah, all the ones on the Hellcat rods have bags. These do not. Oh, it's gonna be a mess here. This one is in the board. There's a lot I can do about that at this point. Just gonna have to deal with that mess. Finally good to catch a fish, but it's been hideous. Said I just decided I ain't gonna run cut bait. I'm just gonna run nothing but chicken and try this a little different. There he is. It's a good fish. Come here, baby. You all in a mess here. Are you hooked good? Yeah. There we go. This one came on the one without the bag. Pretty fish. They do love them. Some chicken, don't they? Good fish, gonna get a weight on him, a length, keeping the data for the uh, biologist. We'll get him back in the lake. Well, as you can see, that one came on chicken. It was the only bait out of the three chicken baits that was not in a bag, but I was happy to get a fish in the boat. 
And luckily, I had another one taking a bait. Guys, we may have one. At least we had one hit this inside board. Yep, feels like he's there. Had a line hang up on the other side and thought I seen this one go over. This is one with a bag on it. There we go. It's a weird bite with these fish, uh, especially as slow as it was earlier. And I covered a lot of water trying to catch fish. They're in the creeks. Uh, I've come into a creek, tried two different areas, real river channel, ledges, near the bank, nothing. Decided to pull into a creek and I put two fish on pretty quick. So probably a little bit of a pattern here, but we got one. Bata bing. Look at that. Now here's one thing you're not going to see. That could be the telltale sign right there. We saw some mud on some guide trips yesterday. Got some mud on it. That may be why they're inactive, but... Here's one thing, guys. The bag worked, first of all. Second, we got the bait bag. Depending on what kind of bait you're using, that's there. Almost every time you're gonna lose a piece of chicken if you're dragging chicken, liver too. So uh, that's one thing with those kind of baits. You will lose them most of the time uh, when they get hit. It's even more pronounced with softer baits. So one good thing about it, obviously it works. It didn't stop fish from hitting it. Well, that fish there took one that was in a bag, so it definitely didn't hinder the fish from biting it. And, hey, I got my bait back. That's something that'll never happen with chicken liver. So these things may be worth giving a try. The next test was to reel everything in and see what was left on the hook. Let's go over here and check out the ones that got the bait bags on them. Right. This one didn't experience too much trouble. I don't expect there to be a lot of problem with this one. This one did not get wrapped up in anything. Outside of being twisted up. That one, still intact. And as expected, that bait bag's on there too. There you have it, guys another one that made it there you go guys like i said this was not a really good test uh because really the fishing was not that great but we got to see how the bait stayed on the hooks especially going through drags and snags and that kind of thing so it may be something you want to try out and use i'm going to put a link down in the description below where you can check them out if it's something you want to get